Previously, we said that the reactance for an inductor or a capacitor changes crucially depending on the frequency at which you're trying to drive the circuit. That is, this behavior of the inductor and the capacitor to act like a resistor depends on how, what, at what frequency you're driving the voltage in an AC circuit. Let's take some examples. Suppose I asked you to calculate the capacitive reactance of a 10 microfarad capacitor driven with a different AC circuit uh, frequency. Let's try it for 60, 120, or 600 hertz. First of all, whenever I tell you the regular frequency of a circuit, you have to convert immediately to angular frequency because the capacitive reactance depends on 1 over times omega times c, omega being the angular frequency, which is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the regular frequency times capacitance. For a frequency of 60 hertz, and when we say hertz, we are really referring to regular frequency f, we want to calculate 1 over 2 pi times 60 hertz times 10 microfarads, or 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. That turns out to equal, if you multiply it all out, 265 ohms. For 120 hertz, we get half that value, because the, current, the frequency uh, goes in the denominator. So that turns out to be 133 ohms. For 600 hertz, we get 26.5 ohms. Notice what's happening. As the frequency gets larger and larger and larger, the effective resistance, or the so-called reactance, of the capacitor goes smaller and smaller and smaller. So capacitive reactance decreases as frequency increases. Suppose, however, I asked you to calculate the inductive reactance of a 10 millihenry inductor driven with different frequency AC sources. Let's try 60, 120, or 600 hertz. Well, the inductive reactance is omega times L, which, if I insert what is the regular frequency, that's 2 pi times fre frequency F times L. And for 60 hertz, we would have 2 pi times 60 times 10 times 10 to the minus 3 henrys, because a millihenry is 10 to the minus 3 henrys. Multiplying this all out, we have 3.77 ohms. For 120 hertz, because uh, the reactance is proportional to frequency, that doubles that becomes 7.54 ohms. And for 600 hertz, that becomes 37.7 ohms. So notice what happens. Inductive reactance increases whenever frequency increases. That's the opposite to capacitive reactance.